Okay. Hey everyone. Welcome back to Kelly Hayes Hikes. I am super stoked because I'm going on a four day, three night backpacking trip on the Buffalo River Trail. So for those of y'all who don't know, the Buffalo River Trail runs along the Buffalo River. It's about 40 miles, so we're going to do about 10 miles a day. And yeah, this is my spring break. Uh, it's the only thing that hasn't gotten canceled this year because of everything that's going on. So super stoked. And I wanted to hop on here before I left and show you guys some new pieces of gear that I have that I'm going to be using for the first time on this backpacking trip. Most of this stuff I got for Christmas or my birthday, but I just haven't been able to use it yet. So I will get started by showing you guys my new titanium spoon. Um, this is by Tokes. It's really light and it's the long handle. So it's cut kind of an upgrade from what I was using before. I was just using like a plastic spork from Walmart, but it was, you know, the shorter version. And so this is nice when I'm dipping in my mountain house and I'm not, I don't have to put my whole hand in there. So I'm happy about my new spoon. Okay. So technology wise, I'm recording right now with my GoPro Hero 8 and I plan on taking that on the Appalachian Trail. So I was using this as a tripod holder this is a, a GoPro version. I got this. I have another GoPro, but it's the Hero 3, and I got this with that. But it's really big, bulky, and heavy, and so I needed to upgrade to this UltraPod Mini. This is really nice. Um, it, it was like $14 on Amazon. I bought this little attachment so I can put my GoPro on there. And then I have the phone attachment where I can put my phone on there. And it's got this nice Velcro. You can wrap it around a tree branch and use that as a tripod. And then it's got the little legs. And this thing weighs little to nothing. So um, I'm excited to use that. I got this SD card reader so I could easily move my pictures from my GoPro to my phone without Wi-Fi. So that'll be helpful when I want to edit my videos on trail. Okay, next I'll go into my new clothing. So I talked about these socks in my last video, but these are some Njinji toe socks. And you can see here. So these socks are supposed to help you not get blisters. And they feel really strange when you first put them on. But I think I'm going to get used to them pretty well. I used them on my last hike. It was like four and a half miles. And I forgot I had them on by the end. So excited to try those out. I got these ex officio underwear. Any through hiker, well a lot of through hikers that I've read have recommended these underwear. And I can see why now that I have them in my hands. They're like this nice mesh material. They're super breathable. It doesn't look like they hold on to moisture and they dry pretty quickly. So I'm excited to try those out this week. I also got these frog togs. They're just some cheap little rain pants off Amazon. Again, these were like 15 bucks, but they should do the job just fine. So I think it's supposed to rain a little bit. So that would be nice to have. Okay. This is the piece of gear that I'm most excited about. So, but my last backpacking trip, I realized that I cannot do another backpacking trip without a pillow. I need a pillow. So I got this Sea to Summit Arrows Pillow Premium and I got the regular size and this is the smallest size that it comes in. And so it stuffs in this little sack and this is the pillow. So it comes with this really nice soft material and you can blow it up pretty easily. I'll do it for you guys. Ah! All right. So you can blow it up pretty much in two breaths and it seems really comfortable. Like I said, it's really soft. So I'm hoping that this will keep me a little bit more comfortable when I sleep. And then you just go like that and step it back in your sack. So that weighs I think four ounces. Nope, 2.8 ounces. So that's good. All right, my last, well, this isn't my last piece of gear I like. 
This is um, my next piece of new gear. This is a Thermarest Thermo Z-Lite pad. I just got the short version. It's way too short for me. I'm 5'7". This thing probably is, I don't know, four feet, maybe. Um, but this is going to be really nice to sit on or lay on when I'm taking a break. I was thinking in terms of, you know, when I do the Appalachian Trail, you know, I might take a nap in the middle of the day or want to sit down and eat my lunch and spread my stuff out. So I know you can get those like tiny sit pads, but I just felt like this would be better. And this is probably a luxury item. But, you know, I could also put this under my sleeping pad to keep me a little bit warmer at night and maybe eventually just switch over to using a pad like this and end up getting just the regular size and ditching my, um, my sleeping pad. But I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So my final piece of gear is this water bottle holder that attaches to the front of your pack. And I really needed this because it was so hard for me to grab on the side of my pack. And um, I realized I wasn't drinking as much water because it was just inconvenient to grab for it. So I got this. I got this from a Etsy account, Justin UL. And I will put that link in the description box. But Justin is awesome. He posts new inventory every Wednesday and Sunday, and it sells out really fast, so make sure you get on there and get it in, uh, your order in. The prices are really good compared to, I looked at like Z-Packs and stuff, and I was like, what the heck? But Justin's awesome. I messaged him and told him I was going on a backpacking trip on Monday, and he made sure he got this to me in time. Um, this is there's two different sizes. So this one is for the one liter smart water bottle. And then the other one you can get is for the smaller smart water bottle. So really excited about using that. And yeah, that's pretty much all the new gear that I got. Um, oh yeah, I'm also, so for those of y'all who don't know, I am a Dome Life ambassador for Dome Life. This is one of their shirts, super soft and it's really cute. Um, if you guys haven't already, check out Dome Life. They have a really awesome YouTube channel and an awesome website with apparel. Um, so definitely check them out. All right, we're here. This is the start of the Buffalo River Trail. Mile 10.5. 10.5. It was so good. Like the campsite's 10.5, 20.5, and then 31.5, I think. Okay. Then six miles out on the last day, like super even mileage. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah, me too. So that's our mileage that we're planning on. We can cross right now. No. <laughs> yeah, I think we're about to have to get our feet wet. Are you kidding me? Wait. Slippery trail, use caution. Okay, no, yeah. no, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's pointing. Ah. Holy crap, no! Oh, deep. I gotta get my pole, your pole out. <laughs> ah. Deep as hell. Oh, shoot. And a word like. Burr, this is gonna be cold. Hey, can you put pole up, please? Ugh, I didn't want to do this. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, our first crossing. Let's go. Put Should I GoPro this? What if I fall? Yeah, is this yeah. a road bed? Ooh, it's not that. Oh yeah, this girl. Wait, I don't feel. Ooh! Oh, 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 no. Hey, At least there's that. But it's old. Holy crap! Ooh, it's slick. Yeah. Like a bridge. The road we probably get across. Probably. <laughs> okay. Yay. Wake up call.
All right, so we started this trail at Boxley and we climbed this mountain after we had to cross a creek. And let me tell y'all, I was tired driving up here, but I am awake, fully awake now. And we are continuing to climb. Oh gosh. All right, this is the current situation. The trail is a creek that we are slipping and sliding down. <laughs> All right, I can't do this in video. Buffalo River Trail. No. Posted. No hunting, fishing, trespassing. Okay, well, we just got done going down the slip and slide. Now we're hiking on this road. Probably gonna stop for lunch in a little bit and maybe dry out our socks and shoes. <laughs> All right, we are currently in search of a spot for lunch. All right, this is where we stopped for lunch, drying out our socks and shoes. This is my lunch. It's a tortilla and um, peanut butter, honey, and hemp seeds. Oh no, they're falling. Oh no! Look at that waterfall. That's so cool. Oh my goodness.
This is where we're currently walking. Really pretty views. All around. Dad, gum it. Well, my feet were almost dry for camp. Okay, we are about a mile from where we're planning to camp. We've got a big hill coming up <laughs> before we get there. And it is 414. So we'll probably get there at like five. I'm full before five. And I'm ready to eat. I've been planning out what I'm gonna have for dinner. <laughs> like this whole Probably like the last two miles I've been just thinking about food because I'm hungry. But anyway, it's been a beautiful day. It's like, I don't know, 60 degrees. I just been enjoying the moment. So I haven't recorded very much, but um, I'm probably just gonna take this whole trip and just really, I don't know, I'm gonna record, but I'm not gonna do a ton on camera because I just really want to enjoy every moment and be present in the moment and enjoy it to its fullest because I'm so so grateful to be out here right now okay I will show you guys what I'm eating for dinner because I'm excited and our campsite
All right, so we just cameled up at this nice little seasonal creek and we got 0.2 to our campsite. We originally filled up water, a stream, like 0.1 down that way, and it literally looked like pee water. <sighs> but this water was a lot clearer, so we are very happy. All right, here is our campsite. Got an awesome view. You can hear the water down there. There's my tent right here. And I got a good view to wake up to. Here's my home for the night. All right, now it's dinner. My water filters in my tent. It's too heavy to pick up. <laughs> okay, so here I have some wild rice and soy sauce and some mustard sauce. Yo. Okay. Added some beef jerky. Now it's like hibachi steak rice. That's what we're gonna pretend. Tastes pretty good.